night, Dusty and Dawn, Christ in Ministries. Praise Jesus. Got the dog Coda laying on the rug here in front of us. Don't know if you can see him, but the only dog I know when worship starts, he just wants to lay down and soak in it.
I pass the point of view. Come on. Is your burden weighing heavy? Is it all too much to carry? Let me tell you about my Jesus. Do you feel that empty feeling? Your shame stuff all is stealing. You're desperate for some healing. Let me tell you about my Jesus.
fall down and lay our crowns at the feet of Jesus. Greatness of mercy and love at the feet the feet. Every single lie that tells me that I will never let it through. Am I more than just a sum of every high, every low? Remind me once again just who I am because I need. Oh, 
you have every failure, God, and you'll have every day. say of us. Praise God. You know, I, it's just a time and a place. And so many times we, we walk in fear, doubt, and unbelief, and we struggle, and sometimes we feel like we're at the bottom of the well in life, and we don't see the top. We can't find our ways out. You know, today I was Thinking about Joseph being thrown in the well by his own brothers, you know, but God raised him up, made him a prime minister of Egypt, fed many in a famine, you know, come on. We don't know what God's plans are for us. We, I mean, he's called us to be his children, that's number one, but he will raise us up when we need to be raised up and he will, he will put us where we need to be. You know, he will fulfill his will and purpose on our lives for us. And, you know, when you're in your darkest hour, when you're, you know, like Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, waiting for that last but bit of freedom to be taken away to where you go to the cross and sacrifice for all of us, when you're sitting in your, you know, situations at home and everything looks dire and bleak and dark, he is our light. He's the light. We just have to believe. We just have to call on him. We just have to let him in. We have to trust him. We have to put all our faith in him because he does care for us. And keep in mind, he did not give us a spirit of fear, but a strong mind, love, right? Strength, power, come on. You know, praise Jesus. You know, I, I just, we need to believe. Well, believing is not a passive thing. It's not yeah. something that um, just 
comes, mm -hmm. you have to choose it. Right. You get to choose by your free will to believe. And uh, mm -hmm. it's fighting the good fight of faith. Amen. It's not a, it's not a passive thing. Right. It's, you have to get in there. And uh, it's the hardest battle of all. And I don't think we realize that a lot of times. I think mm -hmm. that we, you know, we come into um, faith in Christ and we, uh, in, in, in what Jesus did for us and, and, and we're hoping it'll be all roses and cherries and, you know, all the sweet things. Unicorns and rainbows, and be, you know, skittles, come on. It'll be all the, you know, we'll be fine, prosperity and all these, you know what I mean? Whatever, it'll be all these blessings and blessings come in different forms, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, when you love your children, you chasten them, that's a blessing. Yeah. Well, when you're when you're in a, a you know when your mind is in circumstances and situations where it shouldn't be, and your heart mm -hmm. is uh, rooted in things that it shouldn't be, God's mm -hmm. gonna deal with those things for you because He loves you, yeah. and uh, that doesn't feel good a lot of times. It doesn't look good. It doesn't act good, mm -hmm. but it is good, and it's yeah. very good. And so, um, yeah, yeah. So activate your faith. It says in. And I'm not going to quote the scripture, but I'm just going to say it. It says, let the weak say that I, they are strong. Mm -hmm. And we are strong in the power of the Lord and His might. We are strong. Even in our weakest moments, we're strong because the power of God, the power that raised Jesus from the dead is, al is alive and well in us. We just have to let Him lead us, mm -hmm. draw us to where we need to be uh, in that. You know, I, I, it, I was laughing when Don just said, you know, we, when we come in, it's, it's you know, it's almost like the honeymoon phase. We used to be part of a, a marriage group, mm -hmm. right? And when you're in a group of people that are married, you know, honeymooners, people that just got married, everything to them is rainbows and unicorns, and it's, everything's just cute. We were not it. that. We were not group. that in the marriage group, <laughs> praise God. And our friends down in Florida know they're, no. Shout out to Diane and Adam. Diane and Adam in Florida who were faithful in the marriage group, praise God. And, you know, there was a... There was a there was a multitude of ages and ranges of how long we've been married. Don and I have been together almost uh, almost thirty years at the time when we were going through it. And you know, Diane and Adam had been down the trail a little ways. And we used to say, you know, we, we would joke about, yeah, it's marriage. If you ain't got poop in the stall, you got a problem. You know, um, but when we come into Christianity, it's like that honeymoon phase. It's like that first initial, yeah, I'm, I'm a believer. I believe in Jesus. And yet the storms keep coming because he wants to come and steal the word that's in your heart. He want, it's word says the enemy, when, not the God. enemy, not God, <laughs> the enemy will want a good, good, good catch. The enemy will come in and, and try to steal or choke off the, 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 the seed that God has sown into your life. And sometimes we can get wrapped up in, you know, all the goodness that we forget to root ourselves to really know that we have to fight this good fight of faith, that we have to stand in the presence of God. Mm. You know, it says, when all else fails, stand, stand therefore in the promises of God, stand in the presence of God, stand in the authority of God, stand, stand in, in who you are in Christ Jesus. You are a child of God, mm. co-heirs with Christ Jesus. God loves you so much that he sent his only begotten son to come down here via a virgin birth, live for 30 years, then have a ministry for three years, deal with a whole bunch of whiners and complainers for three and a half years, then go to the cross and die for all of us. And at any moment, he could have invoked his whole privileges and gone home, but he didn't. He saw it through to the end. Mm -hmm. Love kept him on the cross. Yeah, come yeah. on. Love kept him I mean, on the cross. Right. Jesus, come on. Because he wills all to be saved Love to come never to salvation. Fails, never gives up, never runs out. And I think, you know, um, come on. Yeah, just it's, love is love is tough. Mm. You know, love is tough. Tough love. <laughs> love is tough. It's a beautiful thing. Come on. It's a gift from God. Yeah, praise God. It is Jesus. God. But it's mm. tough, you know? Yeah, where love abounds, there is God. Because God is love. It's not something he gives. It, it's he is love, and he you can receive. Well, <laughs> that's all another. Yes. We're married. Welcome to the marriage group Wednesday nights. 
<laughs> Praise God. Well, I guess we got our new group to start. Marriage group. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, but no, I think there's there's a point here where, you know, we can we can find ourselves in the desert, in, you know, in the wilderness, in the darkness, not being able to see our way out. And sometimes we just, we need to stop and just focus on Him. Pray, worship, call on His name, you know, because He's the one that's going to lead you through into the darkness. It, it says that, you know, though I... Yeah, into though the I, light, it, out of the darkness. Out of the darkness into the light. We have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light of His beloved Son. Praise Jesus when we're in Jesus. Um, yeah, it's one of those marriage nights. <laughs> Anyways, uh, praise God. Help. I know it's all good. It's all good. But what I'm, what I was saying is, is you, you know, when things in this world come against you, no matter what they are, finances, um, relationships, um, family, you know, and it starts to get you down. Just focus on him. Bring him into the situation. Allow him to come into the situation and work rather than just sitting in the darkness wondering why. Say, Lord, come, show me. Be the light in the room. You know, um, think about the, the apostles and all the people that were following Jesus when Jesus died on the cross. And they all ran <laughs> and fled and left him by himself hanging on the cross besides a couple, you know, John and, and his mom. Um, but they were all gathered together hiding in the darkness, hoping not to be caught, hoping not to be the next ones to be killed. And they're doubting, and Jesus is actually out and about after his resurrection, walking with his apostles. They don't even realize it's him at the time. You know, there's there's so many things that go on in the process of that, but they're, you know, they're they're all in the upper room in Acts chapter two. And the next thing you know, he's standing in a locked room. Remember, they locked themselves in. They hid themselves. Right? And all of a sudden, he was in their presence. He walked through a locked door into the room. Jesus can come into a situation that looks like it's locked. That looks like there's no way in. Jesus can come straight in if you let him. That's, to me... When you're in your darkest moments, that's when you've got to just trust that he will enter in. Call on him. Call on his name. Because, yeah, what is it? Even the, even the, even the, the demons in hell, or the, de the devil and his, and his minions, they, they tremble at that name. Because they know what's coming. Because you call, as a child of God, you call on you, your loving father, your savior. You call on God. He will show up. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah, and I think um, sometimes in our darkest times, when things are just really, um, we feel blind, you know, mm -hmm. alone, um, it, it, it feels hard to call on his name. And uh, that's why we have fellowship. That's why we have um, communication one with another where we can um, lift each other up and pray for each other. And, you know, but we we need to encourage ourselves in the Lord mm -hmm. also, like yeah. David said. Yeah. There's a place where um, it feels dark, and you reach out, and and people aren't there. You know, mm -hmm. Jesus felt that when he was uh, asking mm -hmm. his disciples to pray, go into the Garden of Gethsemane. Yeah. You know, there's that there is that time, and 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 maybe many times in all of mm -hmm. our lives where we. We have to encourage ourselves. We have to remember who God is. Yeah. And and when we remember who God is, when we lift Him up and put Him in His place, in, in our minds and in our hearts, mm -hmm. and even in our wills, there's a, it changes things. It opens yeah. the door to change, to good change, mm -hmm. to the kingdom of heaven, yeah. which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, meekness, self-control. Holy yeah. Spirit. It yeah. says the kingdom is love, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. So. 
It says in 1 Peter uh, chapter 1, verses 2 and 4, basically, it says, He's given us all things that pertain to life. All things that pertain to life. Includes godliness. Yes. Well, we have it all. Baby. We have it all. <laughs> we just have to draw on the... On, we have to go to the bank and withdraw it for ourselves. We need to go to the bank of Jesus and withdraw it, you know, so that we have it. We Go ahead. And, well, and stop settling, because I mm -hmm. think we set our affections on the things of the world, on the things that we remember, our past experiences, our, the mm. way we lived life, those things that brought us joy or comfort or, mm. um, you know, uh, or, or made us feel safe, whatever it is. And, and, and those old things, mm. they, they're empty, they're temporary, really. So mm. we try to go back to those old things and we get frustrated, maybe with ourselves, maybe with others, because we're looking for um, a, a, a fulfillment in things that are not full of what God has for us. God, yeah, we're, when, when, when we're new creations in Christ Jesus, when we're born again of the Spirit, there's a place that we can come to that's full of the Holy Ghost, that's yeah. full of glory, that's full of who we are meant to be. And we have to open ourselves up to that place. Um, but it's, it's, um, it's alien to us. You know, uh, we've not been taught that in the world. That, you know, I mean, for lack of a better word. <laughs> I don't know Aliens! <laughs> but, but anyways, Sorry, whatever. Dear. But then there's a place, there's a transition that can happen on, in us know. when we submit ourselves, uh, humble ourselves under the mighty yeah, hand of God. Come on. And we, we come into that place where we lift him high. Where yeah. we know that where we sit in Him, we're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Yeah. When we know that we've come from a new place, we've come from heaven. We're ambassadors from there. We're not from here anymore. And, and so there's a place that can come. But in our Christian walk, it's that journey. It's that journey of finding out who God is, who we are. And then transitioning our lives to um, be able to come into that that place of fullness in Christ, because He's already paid it all, but we get to walk it out, and it, and it just it it delights His heart. Just like when our kids come to the place where you know they know us, then they know themselves, and then they walk away, whether it be teenagers, young kids sometimes, come on, have you had your kids pack their bags at five and six? <laughs> you know what I mean? They're frustrated. They're, they're done. They're done. You know? Because they want whatever they want. And so we, we walk that walk as Christians, and we can come to that place where we come back to God in the fullness and know that He's God. And, and see the fullness of that and then we get to partake of the glory because he said if we glorify him he'll glorify us he'll he'll lift us up and do so so turn your eyes on Jesus look full in his wonderful face And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. It's Jesus. Go read Ephesians 2, verses 1 through 10. That's your homework for tonight. Turn. says meditate on the word day and night and it, yeah. it will renew your mind it'll renew your heart yeah. your whole life will change
Yes, it will. You know, and uh, just mm -hmm. I just want to you know let everyone know we're praying for you. Yeah. Our hearts break, break. for yeah. those going through so much so right, many now. Things right now. Uh, you know, we 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 know pain, but we don't know your pain because right. your pain is yours. But you have a savior. Mm. You have one who died for you, who knows your pain, mm. and uh, Praise God. and we're with you. Yeah. We're praying for you. Yeah. And, uh, no one can save you but Jesus. Yeah. So we love you all. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Be blessed. Have an amazing rest of the week, and hope to see you at church on Sunday or Saturday, May twenty first, Southbridge Common, eleven a.m. Come join us.